What's going on YouTube? Kryptonite Miner here again. Thanks for tuning in to the channel. Please don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to go through how I'm going to have to rework my electric setup out here. Because as if you watched my previous video, you'll see that I was able to purchase the KA3 miner. So I should have a, the KA3 miner shipped out to me in December along with the December batches and everyone else. As you may know, pretty much all the ASICs that I've seen take 240 volts, okay, 240 plug-ins. So, you know, that big plug-in you see like on your dryer, that's what kind of it takes. You know, your standard wall outlet, that's 120 volts. So, this K3 miner is a 240 volt machine. Therefore, I only have four 120 volt plug-ins out here so far. So, I'm going to have to be doing some rearranging on my electricity. I do have 240 volts running out here. And we'll get more into that as the video goes on, the difference between 120 volts and 240 volts and the differences between those. You know, it's actually pretty simple. You know, when I first got into it, I really overthought it and then realized how easy it is. So I'm going to try to break it down as easy as possible. So let's flip the camera around here. All right, so as you can see, I have four 120 volt plugins now each one of those are leading to their own individual 15 amp circuit breaker okay and that's 120 volts okay because it's one single breaker now when you see two of them like this that means it's 240 volts because it has two 120 volt wires going to that breaker now essentially when you have a circuit breaker like this normally you would have one circuit breaker per room usually so like this circuit breaker would have three plugins on it or four plugins on it but in this case i wanted these 120 volts to handle you know quite a bit of load so they each individual have their own circuit breaker because 120 volts of 15 amps can only handle 1800 watts now that is at max they say you should run at 80 percent so 80 percent of that 1800 watts is what you should run at so as you watched in my old videos before i sold my gpus you seen my my rack one my rack two so rack one at the top had eight 3080 gpus which use a lot of wattage so there was actually two power supplies in that machine I had here in my home tour videos if you go back and watch those videos before I sold my GPUs but one rack rack one rack you look here rack one rack one those eight GPUs took two 120 volt plugins now they were using quite a bit of wattage to where if I plug both of them into the same one it would trip the breaker right there at that 15 amp breaker because it would be more than 1800 watts so but if you separate the two each 15 amp breaker individually can handle 1800 watts so that's the way i was able to, to run things now the more knowledge that i've got now from through mining and learning the electric and all this stuff i would have probably did it a little differently because there is a device called a pdu and it takes c14 and c13 cables these are like your traditional computer and asic minor cables and like right here on the KA3 and most ASIC miners, you will see that take two C13s and C14 cables. Now, what PDU does, it has an L6 240 volt plug-in on the end. You need to get this L6 plug right here and wire a 240 plug to a 30 amp breaker like this. And then you would run your ASIC miner C13 or C14 cables to the PDU and it would make it run with 240 volts. You could also plug 120 volt devices into the PDU. Now, when you have 30 amps of 240 volts, it can handle 7,200 watts. So we're gonna go ahead and take this panel off and we're gonna get started on this. And we're gonna get a 240 plug going right here that you would normally see like on your dryer, the big plug or on a welder. We're gonna get that wired up and during this process, we're going to show you the difference between 120 volts and 240 volts once we get this breaker cover off. And this is definitely going to help you on doing any type of wiring of your own for mining. So 
So I got it opened up here. And one thing I failed to mention earlier is you're gonna need all that stuff, the PDU, the L6 plug-in, the C14, C13 cables, which you're also gonna need a different type of cable running. To here, you're gonna want a bigger cable. So the smaller, the smaller number gauge is the the bigger wire. So I think this one right here is the size I'm gonna get. I think it's a 10, if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna double check that and make sure when I get back with it. Just to be clear, I have a 100 amp main right here, but I have it running from a 70 amp, 240 volt main in the house. Power goes in the house first, hits all that breakers and stuff, and then comes out here. So I just wanna say, I'm gonna turn this main off out here. That means Everything from here up is still hot. Warning, don't do this at home unless you know what you're doing because you could potentially injure yourself or even worse. So to be safe side, go in your house and turn the main off from the house is what I really should do. But I'm just gonna turn off from here and I'm only gonna touch everything down here. Just to show you, so you have two hots. It really doesn't matter what color each way. You could do it either way. I mean, you could have a red going into black, a black going into red, it's both 120 hot wires, basically two legs. Then you have your neutral and your ground right there, okay? But if you look, you got two legs here, one leg, two leg, and it's 120 volts. You combine the two, you get the 240 volts. So basically it's just, you know, double the power. So it's really, it's really simple. It's not like one wire is matched be 240, it's just two 120s combined. So when it goes down like this, they crisscross. If you look, if you could, Look down in here where the metal is. When two of them are beside each other, it's coming from the different one, two different ones, because they the metal kind of crisscrosses to where when they're side by side, it's actually coming from two different ones. So when you only have one single pole, you're only coming from one wire, which is 120. So if you have a 30, this is actually a 30 amp 240 volt but in a way it's really two 30 singles on two different sides so that's how it can double double the wattage basically it's it's got two of them two 120 volts they're zigzagging bam so it's 30 30 so that's why a 240 30 amp can handle twice as much as a single pole 30 amp and that's the difference so on your traditional plug-in like right here you have one hot wire and one neutral wire and one ground wire. So 120 volts, there's only one hot wire. We're on a 240 plug right here that you would have on your dryer. It has two hot wires coming from two different sides of the panel, 120 volts a piece, which equals your 240 volts. And then you have your ground wire. That is the difference. It can take more of a load and you, there's bigger wires on the 240 volts so it can handle a bigger load. And that is the differences. What I'm probably gonna be doing, since this one is straight, I'm probably gonna take this one out. I'm just gonna keep the rest of the 120s in and, until I upgrade in the future. Maybe need to, if I get more A6, maybe need to add some more. But for now, I'm going to just take this one out because it's straight. It's gonna be easier to run this big cable through, just running through it straight, right through here. I am gonna replace this, I haven't used it. It started to turn brown because I had the wrong size cord in it, which I've learned lessons from that. But I'm probably just gonna put this one down here, take that one out. And then my L6 plug will be right there. So right here, if you look at it, this is how it is. This is one side right here. And this is the other side. Because so whenever side by side, it's coming from, you know, and you have that double pole breaker, it's going to be grabbing two separate 120 volt hot wires. So now at this point, I'm basically going to take everything off and it's just gonna be an empty plug with nothing here and the wire and the breaker is gonna be gone. So once again, like I said, when I do this at home, the way I'm doing this, I'm not shutting the main off, nothing. I'm just being really, really careful at what I'm touching. So here you go. Let's see here. First of all, let's turn it off.
So I found a piece of this and that's the wire I use. So it is 10. 10 gauge is what I recommend when you get that 30 amp going on the 240 volt. Now I'm gonna snap my fingers and then I'm gonna be at Lowe's getting the wire I need. So I've got my 30 amp L630 plug and I've got my 240 volt 30 amp breaker and then I have my 10 gauge wire. Now I got four, 10 four, I could have got 10 three, I don't know why I bought 10 four, but anyways, so one of those wires won't be used in this. Remember once again, do not try this at home unless you know what you're doing. Especially if they're going to turn anything off like I'm doing. Of course the plug I'm working on is going to be dead, but when I'm wiring it into the breaker, it's going to go in here. I need to be careful not to touch anything. So I'm going to keep myself. So the first thing I'm going to do is going to run the cable. So I got this, no, it doesn't match the gray, but for some reason I, I couldn't find them at Menards. So I looked, they had the light switches and the plug-ins, but no, it doesn't gray. I'll probably find it sometime, it's a couple of dollars I get it, but for now, I got this one. This stuff to be covered up at least, but hey, it works. There you have it, a 240 volt 30 amp double pole breaker. To the L6P 30 amp plug. Here is the PDU all plugged in there. 240 volts going to this device right here. Right now I just have my two 1070 GPUs just kind of spec mining some Ravencoin there, which I'm gonna go over that probably in another video. Have some CPU mining going on right there. I'm pretty sure Every other one is its own 120 volt. Like I think this one is on one wire and then these on another wire, it should be. But just to be safe, honestly, I'm, I'm thinking about taking this apart at some point and looking inside of it to see how the two hot wires are running out of here. I mean, every video I've watched of someone having an ASIC miner plugged into a PDU that had two of these, because pretty much every ASIC miner is 240 volt and takes two of these. They had it plugged in to one right beside each other on here, which I would assume just kind of like a breaker box is every other one's going to be its own 120 volt. So just to be sure, I don't want to mess up a very expensive machine. So I'm going to take this apart at some point just to check it out and see. That's going to wrap it up for today's video. Until next time, Kryptonite Miner out.